Today, we'll show you how to install the Little Giant VCMA 20 Pro Series Condensate Pump. Controlled by a float switch mechanism, this pump automatically removes condensate from air conditioning, refrigeration, and condensing boiler applications. Let's begin. Install the pump on a flat surface. Install the enclosed rubber feet onto the bottom of the tank. The pump can also be mounted onto a wall or the side of an air conditioner or furnace using the enclosed mounting bracket. The tank has a mounting slot on each side so it can be positioned either way. Pumps with an anti-sweat sleeve use a different bracket, but the mounting location holes are the same and the brackets are interchangeable. Make sure the mounting surface will support the weight of the pump and water-filled tank. Ensure the pump is level and the inlet is below the coil drain. Cut the end pipes from the evaporator or furnace drain at a 45 degree angle. This prevents the pipes from sealing closed when sitting against the tank's floor. The pump will accept up to three drain lines. However, make sure that the total inflow does not exceed the rated output of the pump to prevent overflow. Route the drain pipes downward into one or more pump inlet openings one to three inches, ensuring there is no interference with float operation. Keep any unused openings closed using the supplied cap plugs. Install outlet tubing or piping onto the outlet check valve and secure with hose clamps or zip ties, not included with the pump. Use a 3 8 inch inside diameter maximum tubing or piping to prevent excessive flow back to the unit. Route the outlet tubing or piping from the pump straight up as high as necessary. Do not extend higher than 75% of the total dynamic head capacity of the pump. From the high point, slope the discharge line down slightly to a point above the drain area. If it is not possible to slope the discharge line down, make an inverted U-trap directly above the pump at the highest point. Next, turn down and route the line to a suitable drain at a point below or approximately level with the bottom of the pump, if possible. This will produce a siphoning effect which will improve efficiency of the pump. Connect the power cord to a constant source of power matching the pump nameplate voltage. The pump should be connected or wired to its own circuit, with no other electric receptacles or equipment in the circuit. Do not connect the pump to a fan or any device that runs intermittently. The fuses or circuit breaker should be of ample capacity. Connect the pump to a circuit equipped with a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI device, if required by code. There are two options for connecting the high-level switch. The first option is to keep the switch factory wired to the NO and COM terminals. The second option is to reconfigure the switch to the NC terminal. Let's walk through the first option. For this option, the switch is factory wired to the NO and COM terminals. This configuration will open or break an electrical circuit when the switch is activated by a high water level in the reservoir, which can be used to stop the condensing units of a heating or cooling system. Refer to the thermostat and heating slash cooling units operating manual for expected switch operation and wiring connections. Connect the switch leads in series with the low voltage thermostat circuit as specified in the heating slash cooling units operating manual. For the second option, you can reconfigure the switch to the NC terminal to close a low voltage circuit in the event of high water level which could activate an external alarm or relay. Use the following procedure if an NC configuration is required. 
rotate the housing upwards at the hinge tab or remove the housing completely by lifting the housing hinge tab out of the slot. Squeeze the high level switch housing tabs. Support the switch and carefully change the lead wire from the NO terminal to the NC terminal. Return the switch housing back to the switch base. Squeeze the tabs together and insert into the switch base between ribs. Connect the switch leads in series with the low voltage external component as specified in the components manual. Ensure the Attention Service Technician label included with the pump is placed on the outside of the access panel in a visible location. For more information, reference the owner's manual. Thanks for watching.